Welcome to U.S. Football Forum, where football is king. Marquette King. Marquette. Not Marquette. Not Marquette. Just Marquette King. As unique as this man's name is, what's even more unique is his electrifying persona and play on the field. Marquette has broken barriers and history with who he is within the professional atmosphere of football. His unapologetic, colorful character has been a bright spot within the new 2020 branded XFL. To be doing a who is on Marquette seems kind of weird because it's not like most of us don't know who he is already. I chose Marquette for this one because I don't think most of us know why Marquette hasn't given up the game of football altogether even after not playing in the NFL anymore. In many ways, I personally feel like Marquette being in the XFL is truly amazing. With the new kicking and punting rules implemented by the XFL, we get to see a stellar punter like Marquette utilize these rules to near perfection. This in turn has prompted conversations within the NFL to adopt these same XFL rules. In a lot of ways, Marquette is helping the special teams XFL branding look really, really appealing. Still, the most intriguing question, while the XFL has such a phenomenal player in Marquette, what makes him who he is? Why is his love of football so strong? How in the world did this man become a punter? And an even better question, who is Marquette King? If you've ever played any sport growing up, just stop and think why you started playing that sport to begin with. Did you hoop because you wanted to be like Mike? Did you play football because it's a pastime of your family? Did you play baseball because the baseball was the first ball you ever threw? Okay, now let's drill down a bit further. With whatever sport you picked, why did you pick the position that you played? If we stopped and asked Marquette the same question, he would tell you that he originally took an interest to wide receiver. He would just eventually grow bored of just running routes and would make a pivotal decision in his football position interest. While attending Rutland High School in Macon, Georgia, Marquette began punting in his spare time. It's literally one of the only things you can do by yourself on a football field. He would challenge himself on distance, power, accuracy. His high school coach, Lance Perlman, told WXIA, there would be times in practice where he'd punt them so high and so far it would literally stop practice. Guys would be looking and go, holy cow, <laughs> he's putting them in the atmosphere. The skill that Marquette had developed as a punter all stemmed from his willingness to not settle and just play wide receiver. He chose to turn and practice at a punter position where there weren't many that looked like him, if any. This type of attitude of being different and standing out would be a recurring theme within Marquette's football life. Surely scouts are knocking down the door at Rutland High School to get a chance to see Marquette punt footballs through the stratosphere, right? <laughs> Wrong! Rutland High School's offense was really, really good. So good that Marquette only punted the ball five times during his senior year. He couldn't even make a minute long mixtape if he wanted to. Again, Marquette is faced with another obstacle. He doesn't let this stop him though. Upon graduating high school in 2008, Marquette would attend Fort Valley State University, a historically black college about 35 minutes from his hometown of Macon, Georgia. Marquette would join the team as a wide receiver and kind of just punted as a secondary need. It wasn't until a coaching change after his freshman year that we would be told, in so many words, punt or we'll take your scholarship. Marquette told Donnell Ware of HBCU Game Time, they found out that I could punt and made me stay at punter or they were going to take my scholarship. King's junior year would be his first full-time season as a punter. He punted 54 times for 2,144 yards and averaged 39.7 yards per punt with 17 punts inside the 20-yard line. He balled his junior year, but he absolutely dominated his senior year. Marquette would punt 60 times for 2,582 yards, averaging 43 yards per punt, and had 21 punts down inside the 20-yard line. King's stellar stats and performance would reward him with an all-first team Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference Award and a 2011 Fort Valley State University MVP Award. Marquette's powerful leg and drop dead accuracy would earn him national collegiate recognition as he competed for the first annual 2012 NFL PA Collegiate Bowl. 
Typically, this senior bowl was designated for collegiate players to compete from Division I institutions. Fort Valley State was a D2 school, but clearly King's ability was just too good to pass up. Although Marquette's punting game garnered him national attention, he was still going drafted in the 2012 NFL Draft. King would still have a chance to try out for the Oakland Raiders, where he signed as an undrafted free agent. He would also have the honor of entering the league as the fifth African-American punter in the history of the NFL. King would not have the chance to start, though, until his second year in the NFL and quickly made an impact. His best season would come in 2014, where he led the NFL in total punts and total yards with 109 punts and 4,930 yards, which set a single season franchise record for the Oakland Raiders. King would go on to have some incredible years for the Raiders, being named AFC Special Teams Player of the Week during Week 15 of the 2015 season. He was also named AFC Special Teams Player of the Week in Week 7 of the 2016 season. Upon the hiring of John Gruden in preparation for the 2018 season, Marquette was released by the Raiders on March 30th, 2018. Marquette would not even be made aware of this release, and it really sucked because Marquette was a staple within the Raiders organization for all those years. He would be picked up by the Denver Broncos April 5th, 2018, but sustained a thigh injury which placed King on injured reserve October 6, 2018. Not two days later, on October 8th, 2018, King would be released after an injury settlement. Marquette King would be selected by the St. Louis Battlehawks in the XFL Supplemental Draft and has not disappointed as one of the most hyped punters in the league. Outside of having a perfect punt ruined during the week one matchup between the Battlehawks and the Dallas Renegades, Marquette has been one of the biggest hype men for the St. Louis organization. He's free to dance, celebrate, and just be an all around dope person. I hope the XFL can retain Marquette as an ongoing character within their league. He has even come up with marketing strategies based around good special teams plays to drive fan attendance. Just a little liquid incentive. He's truly a driving force for the XFL brand and if the NFL is too scared to allow a colorful personality like Marquette's play the punting position for their league, then it's their loss. Make sure y'all go follow Marquette on all his social media platforms, man. He's hilarious, and he's just in the market of spreading good vibes. He does music, of course we all see him dance, but I think that his character really speaks to what the XFL is looking for. Yeah, he plays punter, but he's unique. He's outspoken, and nothing that he's doing is negative. He's just bringing some fun to the game and some fun to a position that not a lot of people give attention to. It's not enough to just be a phenomenal punter, but to have this unique ability to punt a ball so accurately and so powerfully, is truly incredible. I hope Marquette continues to be Marquette. So that's all I got for you guys. This has been US Football Forum with another entry to our Who Is series. Please be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who you wanna hear about next. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you for watching U.S. Football Forum. See you all in the next video. God bless.